allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence for the sick, the handicapped, the departed, and the military personnel of this community. Thank you.
mention to you is that study, that order to the traffic study company does not include all of these major roads coming to Brisbane. You have Barger Road, the Blockman Road, Navy Road, which is primarily uh, Station Street. You have Churchill Street, which is less than the only road. The only road in Bridgeville that's included in this master study is the uh, the Hickman Street. Oh, no, sorry, we're right here. The Hickman Street uh, to the Hickman Street intersection, which is an, ins which is an insignificant intersection. It's primarily it's the Chartier Street, Washington Avenue intersection. And, uh, I, uh, and, I, and these traffic counts, by the way, on Chartier Street alone in one day, 99,000 cars trail to and from the, air, the varied destinations on that street. On Station Street, that's all the way up to the Washington Pike <coughs> Lake, you have 5,300 cars a day. And on Bowerdale Road, this is an estimate I got today from the county. It's 15,000, okay? And uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you, and I'll give you these later, these are, these are the summaries from a traffic study we did over the summer to three of the churches in Brazil. We sent out, we gave out 400 of these to the, uh, the family of the church with the permission of the pastor, of course. And uh, we found out that 50% of the people in the region around Bridgeville have been detouring around the Bridgeville, South Vietnam business district for 20 and 30 years. 20 years ago, we did a, another study that indicated the same thing. 50% of the people were detouring around the community. But I'm asking you guys to do this, after you, of course, discuss this with, with your experts. I'm asking you to contact PennDOT, right? like, yeah, PennDOT, they the assignee of the contract, and ask them to include Bridgeville's streets in the overall uh, traffic congestion study, because if not, I think we're going to get, to get harmed. Let me, let me uh, mention why I'm so suspicious about that. Uh, in, oh, here, just let me show you this. I have pictures, I might as well show you. Uh, this, these big black lines, excuse me, are the four-lane roads reporting traffic on the two-lane wide street in Bridgeville and South Vietnam. Okay. This is just a, a fact of life. This is Carnegie, excuse me, Carnegie, that's Washington, PA. Uh, Washington Pike has been the parallel road next to which I-79 was built 35 years ago. And its purpose was to act as a non, an unlimited access road to create economic development. That it had between in Collier and Scott and Carnegie, where they widened the road to four lanes. You have like four shopping centers and 700 new businesses. Same thing happened in Cannesburg. But in South End and Bridgeville, there was no accommodation made to get four column to uh, eliminate the major traffic congestion problem. And the, and the, uh, I'm going to go back to the Route 50 quarter community. This is the plan of the Route 50 Corridor Commission to devise. It, 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 to, to solve the traffic congestion problem on Washington Pike, they didn't recommend anything about widening Washington Pike. What they wanted was two east-west roads, one going from the Kermit Heights Interchange over to the Route 19 Business Districts and Mount Lebanon up in St. Clair. The other one was going from a new interchange that was to be built at the west end of Boyce Road over to the uh, Washington, I mean, sorry, the Route 19 business districts. And this is the main point I wanted to make tonight. This is a page from the study agency uh, that was to do the Route 50 Quarter Commission plan. The point where the traffic congestion was the worst, which was the Washington Pike New Route 50 interchange right next to the bridge of the interchange, was not only it's not on the study areas. And the same thing exists in this plan. All of the roads in this area come to Bridgeville because we were here 100 years before anybody else was. And to have a study of this magnitude done, I think this was instigated by the Federal Highway Administration, <coughs> excuse me, but not including all of the roads in Bridgeville is a it's just, uh, I'd be very concerned about that because that's going to harm everybody very much.
And I'm, uh, I'll, I'll give you, uh, these copies are for you. Can, well, I'll tell you, um, we, we will talk to Penn Mountain Media from that, but as, as you know, with, uh, with the state budget, yeah, it's not being approved. Everything's we have a nail with me, so everything's kind of gone over. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, I will bring those points up. Mike, that's even, that's even fortunate for us. We will yeah. give you some time to lobby for this. But look, you have, you have the facts on your side, yep. and these are, and what I'll do is I only have one, one copy of this 1990 10 dollar correction for that thing. I'll give copies of these to you. Okay. All right, and then, thanks very much. Carnegie doesn't have four lanes, but all the way through. It's two lanes as well. Uh, you mean to their business district? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, you know, not the not the group of the past. I know. But like Trinity made a mistake of moving their main, of paving over their main street and moving all the traffic 400 yards away from the store entrances and then wondering why all the customers and people went to shopping centers. Right. Anyway, hey, thanks for your time. Fair to Okay, thanks very much. Yeah, we're for visitors, um, minutes. <clears throat> Motion of the Borough Council regarding the minutes of December 14, 2015, workshop meeting as submitted. So moved. Is there a second? Neil? Motion Neil. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to Borough Council regarding the minutes of December 14, 2015, public meeting, or public, I'm sorry, public hearing as submitted. So I move to move that bill. Yes. Anderson. So. And Bruce, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, all those opposed? The motion carries. Mm -hmm. uh, motion to Borough Council regarding the minutes of December 14, 2015, regular meeting as submitted. So moved. I'll second. Uh, Bruce and Bill Henderson, all those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, motion to the Borough Council regarding the minutes of January 4th, 2016, reorganization meeting as submitted. So moved. Bruce and Bill. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, motion to the Borough Council regarding the minutes of January 28th, 2016, special meeting as submitted. So Bruce and Bill Henderson, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, resolution number 2016-01, motion of the Borough Council adopting the Allegheny County 2015 hazardous, I'm sorry, hazard mitigation plan as the official hazard mitigation plan of the Borough of Bridgeville. Engineer Sites and Andrew Collins have attended meetings and provide information required for the borough of Bridgeville inclusion into the plan. So we're yes. <laughs> All those in favor? Uh, right. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, exoneration of 2012 delinquent real estate taxes. Uh, motion of the borough council exonerating the Borough Real Estate Tax Collector, Anne-Marie Parisi, for the calendar 2012 year uncollected real estate taxes. Uh, tax, tax total submitted $13,628.57. A copy of the listing has been attached for review. So, Bill Henderson, and Bruce, all those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Uh, motion carries. Uh, CD 41, 3.11.2 demolition project, 157 Union Street. A motion of the Borough Council instructing the Char West Council of Government to reject the bid submitted by Dollar Professionals Incorporated, Center Services Incorporated, in the amount of $5,950 for the demolition of, of the property located at 157 Union Street. Uh, this property was sold at the, at the sheriff's sale held on January 4th, 2016. So Bruce Second. and Bill Clawson. Oh, I mean, Joseph Clawson. Sorry. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the Washington Avenue Sanitary Sewer Repair Project. Bids were advertised and publicly opened on Monday. 
February 8, 2016 at 1 p.m. in the Council Chambers for the Washington Avenue Sanitary Sewer Project uh, with the following bid results. Um, contractor JetJack, JetJack Incorporated uh, with a bid of $147,406.75. Uh, Roto-Rooter Services Company with a bid of $237,777. Uh, Abernathy Contracting with a bid of $256,360. Uh, WA Protactus Contracting with a bid of $258,762.50. Next construction with a bid of $276,450. Orise uh, Enterprises with a bid of $294,375. Casper Plasimo Sons uh, with a bid of $331,259.25. And Tri State Routing with a bid of $396,260. Uh, motion to the Council awarding the bid for the Washington Avenue Sanitary Sewer Repair Project to the lowest responsible bidder, JetJack Incorporated, in the amount of $147,406.75, contingent upon review of all required documentation, with the award to take effect at the end of the second business day if no notice of withdrawal is received from the bidder. I have a question. Yes, sir. Is there any concern, or is this something I assume Joe looks at? Such a huge gap in that's the last part. If you look at yours, I, there's a thing added there that says, with the award to take effect at the end of the second day, um, if no notice of withdrawal is received from the bidder, that means if he comes back and says, you know, hey, this was I made a mistake, he can withdraw his bid, um, and then we we can do something. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Second. And, and Joe, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, bill list. Uh, motion of the Borough Council regarding the February 2016 bill list. So move Bruce and Bill, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Payrolls, motion of the Borough Council approving the payrolls of February 12, 1926, March 4th, and 11, 2016. Um, uh, Joe and Bill. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, monthly reports. Uh, motion to accept and pay any commissions due the January 2016 real estate tax collector report. So moved. Bill Same. Anderson and Bruce. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the November 2015 financial report. So move to Bruce and Bill Pelosi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the December 2015 financial report. So move to Bruce. Second. And Joe. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the January 2016 police report. So moved. Bill Anderson and Bill Pelosi. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, real estate tax refund. Motion of the Borough Council regarding the following real estate tax refund due to a change in the assessment as requested by the real estate tax collector. Year 2015, lot block 255-D-378 in the amount of $157.93 to James and Kimberly Kirby. So move Bruce and Bill. Uh, committee reports. Uh, administration. No, no reports, sir. All right, thank you very much. Finance, Joe, is everything squared away? Everything squared away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after reviewing the last five or six months of financial statements, uh, I understand a little bit what goes on in the borough. Uh, I want to give kudos to Lori and her staff on organize, how organized and how she handles everything. It's much easier to 
to go through a, a lot of those different uh, reports. Thank you. I look forward to working with her and contributing any way I can uh, with the finances for the firm. Uh, with that said, I have nothing. Thank you very much. Uh, Parks and Rec. Joe. Uh, no report. I haven't been down there yet. It's a little muddy. So. <laughs> but there is, uh, you want to mention? Uh, yeah, we got a letter from uh, Miami. What? No, 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 the grant. Oh, yeah. The grant. Yeah, we did get a grant from the state for the buck for one part. I believe it's 225000 Okay, hopefully we'll be get going on that this spring or summer, I would assume. I guess mostly it's a lot of parking lot work and parking lots and pavilion more fresh trips. Right. One thing that needs to be done is we've got to get the agreement from the DCNR, get that executed, and then we have to get our bidding documents together, and the bidding documents have to go off to the DCNR to get their uh, blessing before we put out the bid. So uh, it takes a while. So the board and our team has done a great job on that. Good job. It took a few years, so we'll get there. We'll get there. So. Uh, public works. Public safety, Bill. Thanks, Mike. Um, a couple of things. Um, we received a letter today uh, from a resident of Pesamento Drive in reference to some speaking on that street. I just got it today. We are going to uh, obviously let the, the chief know about the letter and, and also take it in the committee. We plan to meet this next month and we'll discuss on that issue. Um, we're also, currently, the mayor and I actually met at the uh, intersection of Barrio and, and Railroad to uh, oversee the, the, the design that Mike Averman had presented to us in reference to restriking that area. Again, we're, we're going to um, bring that into the new committee uh, coming into the next month and, and have some recommendation moving forward. Uh, last thing I have is um, I'd like to make a motion for the solicitor to amend ordinance number 988 to allow for an extra six parking spaces on the Bank Street extension uh, near Lot 2. Um, Talk with the, uh, the chiefs, both chiefs, and, and feel that that's uh, there's appropriate space to do that. And, and also, part of the motion uh, to have the borough manager advertise for the event. That, that is a form of the motion. I'll second it. All, right. all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carried. That's all I have. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Go report. Thank you. One up, one up. Welcome. Uh, police Chief. Thanks, Council President. <clears throat> I just have a few numbers to throw out from uh, 2015. Uh, we ended the year with 47 DUI arrests in 2015. Uh, we ended the year with 62 retail theft arrests just at Rite Aid alone. We responded to 120 calls at Rite Aid. So, <clears throat> Uh, we issued 171 speeding tickets on Bower Hill Road. As far as drug arrests goes, we found an error in our system with the way they're reported. So I couldn't get an accurate number on drug arrests, but I can tell you it was probably the highest amount of arrests we had. So we fixed that and we'll have a better reading for you at the end of this year with drug arrests. That's all I have. Thank you very much, Chief. Solicitor? Engineer Sites. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, engineer's report, as we talked briefly before, the McLaughlin Run Phase 2 grant, uh, the $215,500 for Phase 2 has been uh, awarded by the DCNR. Uh, and hopefully, we can get that moving once we get through the grant. Uh, a lot of things here we talked, we talked about the Washington Avenue Main. And, Water main and the uh, sewer repairs, all the work, all the utility work needs to be done by early April so PennDOT can get in and get their work done there. Um, the McWalker Run Road resurfacing by PennDOT, we reviewed the CCTV information, and are in the process of putting together a uh, liner contract so that the road doesn't have to be excavated. I believe uh, the borough manager has or is in the process of sending letters out to the residents about their curb and sidewalks on the McWalker Run Road uh, for replacement. Uh, we completed its 2015 sanitary sewer CCTV inspection review, and uh, we'll get the uh, final payment process here the next month. Uh, nothing new to report on Chartier Street, Washington Avenue, the Chartier Creek uh, Bridge intersection, since uh, PennDOT doesn't have a, uh, a budget approved by the uh, legislature. And the last thing is, uh, Lori and I attended a meeting on uh, January 7th at PennDOT uh, to, for the 
findings of the South Hills Comprehensive Traffic Study to be presented. Uh, that was implemented over a year ago. Uh, they're in the process of finalizing that report, and they'll be distributing the specific sections of the report to the affected communities uh, that are involved. Uh, one, one item that they did bring up at that meeting was the intersection of Bower Hill Road and McLaughlin Run Road, um, with the suggestion of some alternatives of what could be done with that intersection. One alternative was to put a traffic signal there. One thing was to put the traffic signal in there with a right turning lane off of Bower Hill Road onto McLaughlin. Uh, they made comment about uh, maybe eliminating the traffic signal at Bower Hill Road, I'm sorry, McLaughlin and Baldwin Street. So this document is more or less a guidance document for funding to be obtained for future projects. And one thing that they did say is this, and it was kind of a general statement, that if a community has the ability to acquire properties that are within the scope of work of one of these projects, it's more advantageous to the community to acquire that property than for PennDOT to be going and doing a taking and condemnation. So if there's any properties that come up that we're aware of that are available, you know, problem area that may be in our best interest to make the investment. Okay. And that could be used towards the borrower's share towards the project. Right. Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So that will be included in the study. study yeah. Which should be released to us. Soon, I think, yeah. 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 It's like yeah. we'll send it to the <coughs> and then we'll get it off to you. So it was too, hey, yeah. too big to send everybody full copy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Fire Chief, we'll chill you out. Mr. President. We gave you guys our report. We also got last year's year-end report. Uh, we handled 187 calls last year. We're down a little bit, which we're not complaining. We'll take that. But um, so you have, and you have last month's two things. One, I want to thank everybody for attending last weekend for the celebration of 100 years. Uh, good feedback. Sounds like everybody had a good time. Uh, thanks to all the representation that came and presented awards and that, and my guys surprised me with one. So the other thing I have is the ladder truck, just to let everybody know, will be going to the Pittsburgh show out in Monroeville next month in March. So it'll be on display out there. When's that show? March 5th and 6th. March 5th and 6th? Yeah, Saturday, Sunday. So it'll be going out there for being on display. And that's all I got. Thank you. <coughs> Fish fries. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> fish fries start this Friday. Yeah. Come get your fish. It's too early. I'm not used I to know, it. We're all it's coming all for a month. It is all for a month. Yeah. Becky, 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 library. Uh, good evening. Thank you to um, the Bridgeville Borough for approving money for the Bridgeville Public Library for 2016. We do appreciate that. Um, there's some great announcements in, in the newsletter that is a original thing, read over it. Uh, it's com compiled really nice and concise. And also, um, just a reminder, our one and big fundraiser, Taste of the Town, will be happening on April 9th, Saturday, from 6 to 10, and it will be in the Chartier's room at the Bridgeville Volunteer Fire Department <laughs> location. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Borough Manager. What? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, sorry, Dan. My fault, Dan. This is here too. Paying the price for this um, We provided statistics for December of last of 2015, which included the year end. So, um, in January, just to point out, we ran 910 calls in 2015. 354, we considered lights and sirens with an average response time of 8.37 minutes, and non-lights and sirens were 10.76. In uh, December, we promoted a, another supervisor to the ranks, um, and we moved to 24-hour coverage with our supervisors. Prior to that, we had just 12 hours, and they were on call the rest of the time. Um, and since that time in December, and the traffic winding down here on 50 and that four lane opening and back up. We've been able to move your response times for light, lights and siren down to seven minutes um, for December and January. So, uh, hope that continues. Great, thank you very much.
Uh, Lori, um, I didn't provide a written report. I just, I just have a couple things. Um, just to let you know, uh, all the ordinances, the resolutions through 2015 were sent to be codified, so they should be online shortly. Um, we're uh, busy. We were busy closing up 2015 and opening 2016. Um, our auditors started our audit today, so they should be here most of the week. Um, also, our neighborhood study meeting um, with uh, EPD that was uh, held uh, the 14th of January, um, they submitted some additional information. Plus, the planning commission has made a recommendation regarding um, a change in the zoning. So, um, if, if council um, would like, like to set up another workshop meeting regarding um, what she sent us, we'll get together with everybody and see when your availability is on care, what your availability is. And uh, just um, working on and have completed all the 2015 reports, um, part of flood plain management, but the field is all those. The only one that isn't done is the recycling report for 2015, and that's because I haven't gotten all the information from the parties yet. So, and welcome, Mr. Producer. Thank you very much. Now, old business. New business? Mr. Chairman, if I, I'm not out of work, could I say a couple things? Sure, go right ahead. Uh, if you all remember, a few weeks ago, we had a lot of snow. And I think the public work, the police department, should be absolutely to give them a, a stand because they did a wonderful job. And I'm very surprised that the Public Worker Committee completely ignored this. It seems to me Public Work and the Police Department always get ignored, and I don't know why. They are the main concern of public safety. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, being the new uh, council member, uh, of course, the different groups that I belong to always want me to be able to say a couple things now. Uh, the Bridgeville Athletic Association is still looking for some pre-tee and tee ballers, which are from the ages of three to six. Uh, the older age groups seem to be pretty full, but it could take one or two more. Um, so in the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to be closing down registration. So if, if uh, you can pass on the word. Uh, also, the association is looking for companies that would like to sponsor teams for the, the uh, it is one of my uh, uh, companies that I know that I've talked to, uh, he likes to own a team, and so he, that's why he sponsors a team. So if we can get anybody, uh, any companies to sponsor, uh, as well as Emerald Van Buskirk from the, the chamber has asked me to, uh, to uh, Put out there uh, March 10th is the municipal manager's meeting uh, at uh, the club at Neverwood. And we'll have the privilege of hearing Lori uh, speak there. I know you're looking so forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anything else for new business? <clears throat> to adjourn. So we'll second. All those in favor? Uh, All those opposed? Uh,